This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of the female reproductive organs. Equipment required includes the following. A standard floor model ultrasound machine. A selection of transabdominal and endovaginal transducers with covers and biopsy attachment as needed. A powered adjustable examination table with stirrups. Positioning aids such as pillows or sponges. An ergonomically adjustable chair. Acoustic and or any water-based lubricant gel and gel warmers. Examination gloves. Bed linen and towels. And a sonographer's worksheet. Select the standard preset for a female reproductive system ultrasound. Ask the patient to lie supine on the examination table. Sit or stand on the patient's right side with the ultrasound machine on the upper end of the examination table. Expose the patient's abdomen and apply gel on the midline just above the symphysis pubis. Start the transabdominal examination of the uterus by performing a survey scan of the pelvic organs using the full bladder as an acoustic window. Make the necessary adjustments to the machine parameters to maximize image quality. Begin with the longitudinal plane scanning through the full bladder. Manipulate the transducer until a suitable image of the uterus, endometrium, cervix, and vagina is obtained. Starting with the midline uterine image, manipulate the transducer towards each side in turn and assess the uterus past its margins to the adnexa. Freeze the optimized image of the uterus as required. Annotate as to structure, scan plane, and scan approach. Measure the long axis of the uterus from the fundus to the cervix. Measure the anteroposterior, or AP dimension, perpendicular to the long axis at the thickest part of the uterus. Then save the measured uterus image. Before unfreezing, measure the maximum AP dimension of the endometrium to include the superior to the inferior endometrial borders. Save the measured image and unfreeze to proceed with the scan. Return the transducer to the midline. Commence the transverse scan by rotating the transducer counterclockwise 90 degrees. Manipulate the transducer to keep the vagina in view through the distended bladder, then sweep superiorly from this position to visualize the vagina, cervix, and then the uterus.